Hello and welcome to a very special gun and battle operation featuring the Ag Gen. I believe that's how it's said. This unit is a unusual one that has a design history stretching from close to the end of the One Year War to the in well conflicts involving Neo Zeon. It might be a part of the development history of the Kapool. But we're not confirmed on it. This is a space-capable version based on the Ack guy, which it draws its history from. In-game, it's a 350-cost base, ground, and space-capable raid with a ballistic resistance of 8, a beam resistance of 13, a melee resistance of 15, a range strength of 10, a melee strength of 25, movement speed of 130, which is pretty impressive in this cost range, and a thrust gauge of 55. For parts, we got close range of three, medium of 13, and long range of eight. It's an oddly enough middle ground type unit. For equipment, it does not have any real optional weapons, so we'll just start with that. We have the Aggen Arm Mega Particle Cannon. Oh, it is a non-charging attack. It fires once, but it does give base level stagger. Then we have the Aggen Claw Arm. It's what you think it is. You give them a big old punch with your claw hand, or a high five if you prefer. We have the, the Fusion Beam Cannon times four. The four little like uh, points, let's just say, on its uh, mid section. They can fire one big shot. They do 500 damage each for about 2,000 total if you hit all four. And this does actually do some decent suppression. Then we have the arm mega, mega particle cannon times two discharge. This is just both hands rapid firing beams. It's not bad to have. Can add some extra damage in and be really annoying for peppering units. Then we have the chest for tube missile launcher. I don't know why it says it's a chest because it's fired from the left arm. So be aware of that when you're using it. It's pretty much like what you'd get from the uh, act guy. It does decent damage. The range is kind of low. You're probably going to knock someone down, switch to it, and then just pelt them with that. For skills, we have Assault Booster Level 2, High Performance Balancer, High Spec and Back Level 2, Melee Combo Controller Level 2, Leg Shock Absorber Level 2, Anti-Blast Stabilizer, Special Head Buffer Level 3, that's 20% decreased damage to that giant noggin that it has. We got Aquatic Mobile Shooting, if you're not familiar, when you're moving, doing high speed movement underwater, you can still shoot your weapons. And then we have Impact move, uh, level one. You press the acceleration button twice to consume 15 thrust, and you do. Uh, you basically nullify a certain amount of damage, or at least the reaction from it. It's okay. It would be something I'd rely on. My opinion of it is it's a really steady raid that, if you play it like a mid-filled unit. You you come up on people, you engage them with your your ranged attacks, you come in, you maybe give them a little smack of Rooney, and then you back off, you put a little bit more fire into them, and then you move on to the next target. It performs really, really well. Um It doesn't quite play in my experience like a traditional raid. It does better with slower moving targets, but it can put up a heck of a fight and be a bit of a danger, so I think it's a fun unit, I don't think it's the greatest raid, and I don't think it's the best in its cost. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your week. And um, oh my lord, this is one of those suits where, this match I thought was going to be a terrible <laughs> example, but it, it gets up a little bit better. After we, uh, we get used to it. It's been a little bit since I tried it suit out, and we're going to be punching out here. I'm not sure what number four was doing, but I'm going to assume it was a misclick on his part, or he was hoping to get a little bit more distance. 
But the hey, if you're trying to do that, the pause after you do that little move takes so long, you might as well not waste your time. So we're going to come up here, and I'm going to move up a little bit. I was just expecting the other team to be much, much more aggressive. But when 5 came up here, I wanted to push in front of him so he wouldn't take the brunt of any attack. But I'm sitting here going, well, there's no one here. So when number 2 goes up, I go, haha, there's a support. I'll move around him. Then I notice another guy over here and go, okay, what is going on? So I jump up here, get myself a little bit of high ground, come over, say hello. Not quite get the melee hit in there after hitting him with that. Catch him with that. Now this player isn't dumb. He is going to counter me every time he can. I'm going to get knocked. He's going to get knocked. But I'm going to win the battle in terms of damage. But there's a second guy and this unit is not exactly great at taking damage. So I'm going to back off a little bit. Take a shot into him. And I notice the other uh, support pushed up. But I want to finish this guy off. But unfortunately my team watches me get surrounded and killed. So there's your first death. So we're going to spawn in at D, and you might notice that number 4 has wasted a huge amount of time to go early base bombing. Don't you love that? I don't. So I'm going to push up here a little bit. I see the guy jumping up there, but I see what's going on and I'm like, crap, i got to push up a little bit here and just try to push out some of these guys. I'm going to bop him in the face. And then we're going to take some shots just to push him back. I know there's the one idiot up there. But at the moment, we don't have a lot of guys on the ground. So I wanted to move up and push him. Because, well, he didn't have a lot of health. So I see the one guy came down. We're going to come over, miss him with our melee, push him over, and then stagger him. And we're just going to put some fire into him in the hopes that our guy can help mostly finish him off. We're going to come over. Lure the strike out from him, then we're gonna just finish him off with the melee. He's gone. He wasn't playing dumb, but unfortunately for him, he was too low health to manage that encounter. So we're gonna push a little bit more. I keep wondering what the heck are they doing, and I realize they base bombed this early in the game. I just I do not understand the point of it, but. I'm going to try to stick with these guys because I'm like, okay, well, we need to work as a team. Uh, five is going to be obsessed with trying to get that one guy out. And then we see the other team spawn in here. I'm going to throw some shots out to pester our, uh, our support friend. And I'm going to have to bail out because they're just trying to set up a gun line. So two is going to push over there and get their attention. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to... I go a little too early on this guy when it comes to the melee, but you know, under pressure and all that, we're gonna give him a little smackaroonie. We're gonna fire, take him out as we die our second time. So we're gonna spawn in at B, and if you've guessed that four's been mostly useless all match, well, you're guessing right. He's finally getting in there and doing something, but it, it's been just kind of a dumb thing where we should be a lot higher up than we are at the moment but whatever so we come in fire we're going to get that melee take out that guy as the cat decides that he has to this instant go scratching and we're going to work over this suit a little bit because there's a two on one i don't really want to jump in on that because uh, there's more chance of causing trouble we're going to get rid of that suit number four is again out of his suit he just he's capturing spots I mean that's something so we see a little bit of a support fire over there I see a guy going from waypoint to waypoint and I'm just like okay we're gonna devolve into that are we so I'm gonna push over here a little bit but I'm gonna turn around because they spawned behind us I know there's a pilot that took a shot but I'm like I need to come over here and help our guys out we're gonna take a shot impact him come in and just work over that zaku help get rid of him and we're gonna push up with two we're gonna catch him with that mostly i'm gonna keep trying to uh take advantage of him having to spread out his staggers between us come in melee him 
knock him a little bit, and then melee him to death. And we see another guy over here. We're going to push him. He's going to drop in there. I don't want to pursue him because it's kind of a waste of time. And I'd rather be up here. Four is still taking spawn points. I guess that's useful. And then I see our guy over here. And he's making a beeline for our base. So I'm like, okay, he's obviously going to probably go for a base bomb at this point. I don't know. But I'm going to push him. He's going to get caught up because one is going to spawn. We're going to come in and just work him over jointly. We're going to pop over to those missiles. I see, uh, oh, I forget, the GM Kai? Is that what it is? That is? I think. He's going to come in. Our dudes are going to give him some of that loving. And we're going to go ahead and fin help finish off that guy. Then we see the other support come in, give him a little one-two. No buckling of shoes. We're going to take him out again. I kind of feel bad because I don't want to have to kill him all the time. We're going to come in, smack the Kai, give him a little this and that, and then finish him off real quick with the melee. Turn, fire under the wing, take that, sh that kill. Didn't quite mean to do that. I just wanted to stagger him and keep him in place for the team. And we formed up around the base here. So we're going to fire a little too early, put some shots into him, get him with a little stagger action, continue to work his poor legs all over, catch him with that, come in, and he's gone. And I see that, uh, oh, the, oh, I forget what that, this one's called. But we're going to come in, work over the improved Zaku too. Let's call it that. And we're going to play a little bit around here because he's going to try to come in for that. We're going to push him with melee and the match is over. Let's see how we did. And we posed, I guess. Okay, it's the left arm that has that. Okay, three board spots and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.